Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to say thank you to all of my viewers. My channel just crossed 16,000 subscribers, and that is just completely unreal to me. Thank you guys so much for the support of the channel, and thank you so much for watching the channel. I would also like to send a shout out today to my newest member, which is Tabania Crockett. Right here, she joined a day ago, and I just want to say thank you so much. Your support of my channel means so much to me. Hopefully I got your name right, Tabania Crockett or Tabania Crockett. I'm sure if I got it wrong, she'll let me know in the comments below. Now, when I cover distros on my channel, generally most of them will use the same package management system or ways to install software. Some of them don't. You've got a lot of different package management systems out there, and that's one of the complaints in the Linux community. Some people believe that there should be fewer package management systems and we need to hone in on those systems and make them better. And then we won't have so much what they call fragmentation across Linux. Me, I kind of disagree. I like all the different package management systems. I like all the ways that you can install software on your Linux distribution. But there is one specific distribution out there that is trying to change things a little bit. I don't understand why it's not searched more on DistroWatch but I'm gonna bring that to you today. So let's zip on over to the website real quick, which is kaosx.com. And I don't know if the distribution is called KOS, KaiOS, I'm gonna call it KOS or maybe Chaos. I'll just stick with Chaos. But what Chaos is, is an independent Linux distribution. And it strives to build itself on the most recent KDE build. It's a beautiful operating system. And if you come to their website, it lets you know that it's focused on QT and KDE. And you come down and it's got a few different screenshots right here. And it's really a beautiful operating system. I mean, it is KDE, so what are we really talking about here? But they control their own packages. And if you come down here, it says chaos follows the latest innovations, always shipping the most up-to-date there is available for the Plasma desktop. And this list shows what is being prepared to move to all users soon. And it kind of shows you right here, they've got Dropbox, Wine, SMPEG, PostGid, QMAP Shack, stuff like that. Now, what I do want to point out here is they've been building this package management system for over nine years. And if you go over here to mirror status, it'll let you know right here what mirrors are good and what mirrors are not synced yet. And what's really nice is you can come over here and actually say, hey, if I live in the United States, this one's fully synced. This will be my best bet right here to use. And this one will say offline or online and not synced. Now, what we can do is go ahead and return to the search page. And if you want to, you could actually do a search right here for online packages. Or you could just bring the apps up and scroll through them if you want to. It makes things really easy. There's a lot of packages on here. But what's beautiful is these packages are specifically built to run in chaos. It makes things easier. It makes things more integrated. Whereas if you're using something like an Ubuntu or Linux Mint or something like that, that you're using different packages every now and then, you do have issues where dependencies aren't met or you run into problems there. With chaos, you don't have that problem because these packages have been built specifically for the operating system. Now let's go back to the main page. And if we scroll down a little bit, it says you can visit their gallery page for screenshots, video showcase, and instructional videos. And then the idea behind Chaos is to create a tightly integrated rolling and transparent distribution for the modern desktop. Build from scratch with a very specific focus. What is nice is if you all are familiar with Pac-Man, not the Pac-Man on Arch, but the Pac-Man, P-A-C-K, MAN that is used on OpenSUSE, that is also available in this distribution. So if there is a specific application out there that you can't find or you want to use, you can build it from source using that. Now let's scroll down a little bit more and you've got chaos as limited repositories. If you go right here to the KCP, which is your community packages, right here is where the community has come together and found different applications that are popular that people want to use and built them. You've got Vivaldi, Spotify, Megasync, Sublime, uh, Super Tux Cart. What else do we have? WP Office, Waifu, Astro Menace, Photo QT, Numix Icon. So there's a nice, healthy community package area, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and scroll back to the top 
and let's go back to the home page. So if you get a chance, definitely zip on over to the website, take a look at it. It is a very nice distribution. It's been around 10 years. Their package management system's going on almost 10 years. So it's a solid distribution. It's not fly by night and it's got good developers to back it. And it's also got news, download, documentation, packages, bugs, your KCP, which we just looked at. And then of course, a healthy forum. So should you have any issues, you can zip on over there, get your answers to the problems that you might have. So back to the home page. And what I'm going to do now is without any further ado, let's get on over to the Chaos Desktop. Okay, if you download Chaos, throw it on a USB or open it up in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. It's a beautiful KDE environment. They've kind of got it set up a little bit different. They got the panel on the right hand side. You get a welcome screen that has installed chaos, guide, forum, documentation. You can donate. You can set up passwords. There's about. And then, of course, you have a package list. And this shows you a list of packages that are installed on your system already. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main button. And it says, thank you for trying chaos. In need of a password file or package list, want to learn more about the project? Please find the links below. And then, of course, don't hesitate to give your opinion about chaos in the forums. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is close out of this, and we can just look at the desktop. I do like the subdued grays that they use with the wallpaper, but like with any KDE distribution, you can right-click here, and you can configure your desktop and wallpaper. And if you would like to change the wallpaper, you can. You can go to something different. You can go to something more lively, or you can just go to a base KDE wallpaper of some kind. You could pick Nebula if you wanted to and pop that up there, or you could go up top and you could pick something like that, which I think is a beautiful background, which I think I'm going to leave. Let's go ahead and close out. Oh, wait, cancel. Let's go ahead and apply that and then close out of that. Now, as you can see, the panel is over here, and we're going to go ahead and right click. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a floating panel, more options, and we're going to go floating panel, and we're going to close out of that. I like that floating panel a little better. You can see that they're using Octopi down here. If you click on that, it lets you know you've got 399 updates available, and that's what will be handling all the updates on your system is Octopi. Now, one of the first things I'm going to look at is let's go ahead and go up here and let's look for system. And let's go to system settings. I want to pull that up and I want to scroll down to about and I want to see what we got here. We're using KDE Plasma version 5.25.90. Now, there are 389 updates that need to go into effect. So I'm sure once we get updated, we're going to go to the most recent version of KDE Plasma, which will be 5.26. And kernel version right now, we're using 5.19. 0.13-1, and the graphics platform is Wayland. Now, you can go up top here. You've got all the regular settings that you're going to have on any KDE desktop environment. Uh, right now, it's set up on Midna, which is the color scheme that you got going here, but you could switch it over to Midna Dark if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it like this. I always switch to dark, and some people always tell me, please, just leave it on a light theme for a video or two, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And then you come down here, you've got your hidden icons right here. Then you've got internet sound, you've got your usual suspects down here. You've got your drop down terminal, which will drop down right there. Let's go ahead and see if they have H top. They don't. Let's see if they have top. And running a top on it right now, we're using about 436 megabytes of the 2.9 gigabytes I have issued to this machine. That is light. Anybody that uses KDE, knows that that is light. So if you get a chance to download this and run it through its paces, I recommend that you do because it is a very great version of the implementation of the KDE desktop environment. Plus, it's a great operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. If you come up on your panel, you've got sticky notes, calculator, you got your desktops right here, your welcome screens right here, you got your file manager, which is Dolphin. We'll go ahead and open that up. And those of you out there are pretty familiar with Dolphin, you got your usual suspects over here, you've got your home folders right here. But I do love the icon set that they're using. I like that it's subdued, it's a little bit darker blue. You got your chaos desktop, trash, and then of course your searches and then removable devices right here. So I'll go ahead and close out of Dolphin. 
Come down here, you've got Kate, which is your text editor, and then Falcon, which is your web browser. Let's go ahead and open that up. And it opens up. Let's go ahead and maximize that. And if you look down here, you've got Chaos Welcome. you got direction to your forum right here. Let's go ahead and open up Chaos Welcome because I do want to show you something in here. When you get here, it's got latest builds, goals, limited repos, donate. This is the same page we were just on. But now that we are inside of Chaos, we can go ahead and click on latest builds. And it'll bring this list up. Let's go to the full list. And it'll show us the latest builds right here. Or you can go over to all packages. And it will list all your packages right here. So what I want to do real quick is let's look up something like GIMP. Let's do a search for GIMP. And there's GIMP right there. Let's say you wanted that. You just come over here, click on it. It's going to bring it up over here. It lets you know the dependencies that are required with it. And it lets you know it's an upstream URL. It lets you know where their website is. The build date was 9-25-2022, so that's pretty recent. Now, if you wanted to download this package with the dependencies, you would just click Download, and it will bring up right here. There's your tar file. You could save file, open it. Well, what you would want to do is save it, and once it downloaded, go into your Dolphin, right-click it, open it with Octopi, and it would install it on your system. So it makes things really easy to find applications. Now, if you don't want to go through there, you could always come over here and click on here we can go to octopi and let's open it up and octopi is a lot like synaptic package manager it's more of a type search install type situation let's go ahead and make that full screen so you can see it you could even come up here if you wanted to and go gimp and it would bring gimp up right there you could go over here and click in this area click install and it'll let you know that it's clicked and ready to be installed and once it was ready to install all you would have to do is click apply and it would install it for you. So you've got many different avenues to go about getting the applications that you want. But the beauty of these applications is they're all built specifically for chaos. They're not built in a vacuum to be used on different spins or different distributions. That's what's beautiful about what they're doing and how they do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Then we come over here, let's see what we have out of the box. Education, you got Libre. Office Math, you got Games, Graphics, you got LibreOffice Draw, Internet, you got KDE Connect, KGit, Multimedia, K3B, MPV Media Player, Simple Screen Recorder, Office, LibreOffice, Suite is already installed, Settings, you got Command to Manager, System Settings. Now, this is what I do want to point out. It does have Wacom Tablet Finder. Now, my 21 year old daughter actually is using Chaos on her Dell right now. And she's using it with a Sense Labs tablet, and it works flawlessly. She uses it in Krita to do drawings and things like that. She also uses that laptop to do a podcast. So it's a really consistent and solid distribution. I wanted her to put it through the paces before I did another review on it because I wanted to make sure there weren't any hidden issues or hidden problems with it before I covered it again. She's used it for over six months doing her artwork and doing her podcast work without any problems at all. And then we come back down here, you've got utilities, console. I think the developers really love what they're doing and they wanna pass that on to the people that are going to use it because it shows in the quality, it shows in what they're doing, and it shows in the hard work they're doing on the package management system that they utilize. What do you think? Independent Linux distro, it's not based on anything, it's built from scratch, it's built from the ground up. Package manager, it's built from scratch, built from the ground up to be specific to this Linux distribution. What do you think about that? Is it something you might download, throw on a USB, throw in a virtual machine and take for a desk drive? Let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video, if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, we are on three separate platforms. YouTube, Utreon, and Odyssey. And you can become members on all three. On YouTube, it's only 99 cents. On Utreon, it's $2.99. And on Odyssey, it's $4. You can also buy us a cup of coffee. Maybe go over to PayPal and throw us a donation. Or... Go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. 
All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.